A Brief History of the Playboy Club The Playboy Club was initially a chain of nightclubs and resorts owned and operated by Playboy Enterprises. The first Playboy Club opened in Chicago in 1960. Each club generally featured a living room, a playmate bar, a dining room, and a club room. Members and their guests were served food and drinks by Playboy bunnies, some of whom were featured in Playboy magazine. The clubs offered name entertainers and comedians in the club rooms with local musicians and the occasional magician in the living rooms. The first club opened on Walton Street in downtown Chicago on February 29, 1960. During the last three months of 1961 more than 132,000 people visited the Chicago club making it the busiest nightclub in the world. Playboy club membership became a status symbol. Only 21% of all keyholders ever went to a club. At $25 per year per membership Playboy grows $25 million for every 1 million members. The rabbit-headed metal Playboy key was required for admission to a club. They were presented to the door bunny. This was later replaced by a metal key card in 1966. In addition to entry to the club the member also received a complimentary copy of that month's Playboy magazine. In 1965 Hugh Hefner sent Victor Loans to London to open Playboy's British casinos following legalization of gambling in the United Kingdom. In 1981 the casino at 45 Park Lane was the most profitable casino in the world and the British casinos contributed $32 million to the corporation. Playboy also operated British casinos in Manchester and Portsmouth. In 1981 Playboy opened a hotel and casino in Atlantic City, New Jersey. However the New Jersey gaming regulators denied Playboy a permanent gaming license and Playboy sold its interest in the unit to Elsinore Corporation, its partner in the venture in 1984, at which time the hotel and casino were renamed the Atlantis. The Playboy Club in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin featured architecture inspired by Frank Lloyd Wright and operated from 1968 until 1981. It had a ski slope and was one of the first to install a chairlift. The facility is now operated as the Grand Geneva Resort and Spa. There were also clubs in Miami, New Orleans, St. Louis, New York, Phoenix, Detroit, Baltimore, Cincinnati, Kansas City, Los Angeles, Atlanta, San Francisco, Boston. Denver, Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, Buffalo, Dallas, St. Petersburg, San Diego, Columbus, Lansing, Omaha, and Des Moines. There was a Playboy Club in Montreal, Canada and they operated a few in Japan under a franchise arrangement in Tokyo, Osaka, Nagoya, and Sapporo. International clubs existed until the 1991 closing of the Manila Philippines Club located in the Silahese International Hotel. In 1991 the club chain officially became defunct. In 2006 Playboy opened a new club in Las Vegas, Nevada. The new club at the Palms Casino, with its prominent neon bunny head, had casino games, bars and a restroom with pictures of playmates on the walls. The club closed in June 2012. Australian women were invited to Sydney to audition for the iconic Playboy bunny role and for positions as singers and dancers at the Playboy Club. A minimum of five women were chosen to travel to Macau for a six-month contract as a Playboy bunny. The Macau Playboy Club opened on November 24, 2010. In 2010 it was announced that a new Playboy Club in London was to be opened on the site of the old Rendezvous Mayfair Casino. It was opened in 2011 and the 17,000-square-foot property was spread over two floors. The clubs featured a casino, cigar terrace, sports bar, nightclub cocktail bar and a fine dining restaurant. Along the stairway walls portraits of playmates are hung winking and smiling at guests as they walk by. In 2018 a Playboy Club was opened in New York City in Midtown Manhattan. Many questioned the wisdom of opening a Playboy Club in the Me Too era. In 2019, after just over one year in operation, the owners announced the club had closed and the space would be rebranded as a steakhouse. All that's left are the memories, some relics and a few photos. It was good while it lasted.